Just a few words to thank you for coming. It's it's great to see everybody here not getting wet. <laughs> Pethai Bachan, remember to do the little things. In memory of Saint David, our patron saint, on Saint David's Day, remember that. I just hand you over to Llewellyn now to say a brief word and then Neil will complete the, the, the talking. <laughs> Llewellyn. Oh, thank you. Dr. Vardiris. Um, Dr. Vardiris, thank you all for coming. Um, today is a great day. It is, the it is the day of our nation's patron saints who said, do the little things. It is also important that uh, what, what we should have is St. David's Day as a bank holiday here in Wales. <laughs> just, as it, just as it is for Scotland, St. Andrew's Day in Scotland, and as it is for St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. And, uh, and now I will pass you over to Neil McAvoy. Okay, Chris Epo, well done. Eve got Dowie Happis. Right, so today is our national day to celebrate Wales, our diversity, and let's have a bit of trivia, trivia, a few trivia points, factoids maybe, as the old Steve Wright used to say. Right, which are the oldest? Which of these, out of all the, these next three things, which are the oldest in terms of history? The pyramids. Stonehenge or Kyra Hillford Settlement in Wales, in Cardiff. Which is it? It's Kyra. 6,000 years old. Massive history in Wales, which we've forgotten. I can see some flags are red on. The red flag raised in the name of the working class. And welcome to the Steelworkers Union here today as well. Thanks for coming, guys. Welcome. The red flag. Now, when, when you see the red flag, people think China, Russia, but where did it, where did it originate? It was Wales. He had one common, 1831, Wales first again. First ever passenger rail journey, Wales, Murfa again. Look at mathematics, the equal sign. It was a Welsh mathematician who invented it, Robert Records. Wales, we got more square, Per square mile, we have more castles than anywhere else in Europe because they tried to keep us control back in the day, didn't they? Right, first ever million pound check. Where was it written? <laughs> Cardiff, Wales, the coal exchange. So we've got lots, lots to, to celebrate. Thinking of later on now, we're moving on to a couple of events. The first ever can of beer was made in Wales. It's an athlete. Oh, well in foil. I do, I do apologise. I stand corrected. Okay, what we have today, it's the, a comeback really, back to the future. If those of us remember, we had 2012, 2011, we had the St. David's Day Festival. Well, do you know what? We're bringing it back. And today's the first day. Big thanks to Dave Peterson. Big thanks to everybody helping out to organise. But actually, an appeal to anybody out there who wants to get involved. Because what... What we'd love to do is set up a community interest company and the interest is making St. David's Day in Cardiff, in Wales, as big as possible. St. Patrick's Day, what happens in Cardiff? The businesses sponsor St. Patrick's Day. There are offers on Guinness. But what is ever St. David's Day? Not a great deal. And what we're going to do, individually ourselves and as a team, as a collective, is make sure that St. David's Day is bigger and better, as big as possible next year on a Saturday. Today we've got three, three great events. Straight after the parades, there's a session, Clara or Clara, Welsh folk music on traditional instruments in the upstairs of the Owen Glyndwr pub. 
If you wait till 2.15, we've got a fantastic event. We've all watched on television the drama about the post office, the postmasters and how they were so appallingly treated. Well, a great Welsh writer, Aled Gwyn Job, has written a book called Stamp of Innocence. And Aled is going to be telling the story of Noel Thomas, the postmaster from Ernest Morn. So that's at 2.15 in the upstairs room of the City Arms. After that, there's another Welsh folk, uh, there's another group playing Mike Brooks from the band here, Beat Dragons. They're playing in the City Arms downstairs as well. So what we have are three events. No, it's downstairs, the, the band. So what we have are three events celebrating St. David's Day. Just finally, I see lots of young people here, lots of kids, children. Do the little things. So when you get home tonight, or maybe when you get up in the morning, make your mum and dad a cup of tea. Okay, it's a little thing. And uh, that's enough from me now. Just want to say, Dioch and Vod and Dod, Dioch e Dave Peterson, e Bob and Trevny. So thanks to Dave and every week for organising. And let's have a, a fantastic rest of St. David's Day. Dioch and Vod. And can I just add that uh, we should be campaigning to make St. David's Day back holiday Wales just as the chart is in Newport campaign for the right to vote. Just, just as all England do a campaign for our rights here in Wales also. flag please uh, hand it back to either myself or the stewards please thank you